Hey guys, how you doing? Chris Erdogan on Sage Entertainment. Uh, this is a little vidlog real quick to show all you DJs out there uh, that are looking into doing the trusting vertical trust totems. Trust totems, sorry. Um, you know, everybody knows that global trusting is the best out there. It's also the most expensive out there for a uh, the was it the one meter, two meter, the six point five foot trusting global trust is about five hundred thirty bucks, I believe. Um, I was looking for something a little cheaper, something more, you know, for me. And I found this monster trust at uh, cheaplights.com, and the trusting with shipping is about one hundred and twenty five hundred thirty dollars a piece. And this is six feet. It's made of steel, stolid, nice and sturdy steel. Um, what I did, what because this ain't like Global Trust where it's nice and shiny, it comes in a dull black. Uh, what I did is I bought some Rust-Oleum metallic paint that's bright reflective finish it says. It had like a chrome looking cap. I don't know if you guys got that, but I bought this stuff and I spray painted one of them. The reason I painted it with this stuff is because, you know, light reflects better off of something shiny versus something black. And as you're uplighting a truss, you know, you're going to have your covers over that. You want as bright as you can get. With the black, it doesn't reflect the light as much. So I went and I painted mine uh, with a metallic like that. Now to give you guys a little show us the, the difference in it, each one of these uh, bars here, you don't see all of these when the light's coming up, whereas you will on that. That shows that the light's reflecting a lot more. I also, I painted the underside too as well, so the light will reflect back and forth. And this one is just right out of the box. That's how, exactly how this one came. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show off the lights. I've got uh, two blizzard pucks that I use for uplighting. And they're both master slave together. So I plug them in for you guys real quick. And hopefully you'll be able to see the difference as to why I decided to go with this trussing. It's just a stable. Um, I don't have a base plate on these right now. They come with like a plate on the top and the bottom. But they're not sturdy like that. So I still have to build my 30 inch uh, base plates out of solid steel, which I'm working on. But as you can see, you know, if you look at the truss on the left, it's just not as bright and vibrant as the one on the right. So for those of you guys looking for a, a cheaper way, like now, 5'10", these are 6 feet trusses. So with, with a base plate and this, you can easily mount the moving head. Um, I might just for now put a star bowl on top. Um, but I think this is cheapest in cost, but still great in value for all you small mobile DJs out there. I'd recommend getting a, a couple pairs of these. These things are, the Blizzard Pucks are set to auto right now, so. But again, the, this is my suggestion. If you guys are looking for good trussing, starting to get into trussing, I'd go with the Monster Truss from CheapLights.com. And if you are going to apply it like this, you know, I'd, I'd paint them or get them a, a nice color where they reflect the light a lot more. It'll be a lot brighter on the dance floors. and That's my two cents on a little do-it-yourself on how I did my trussing.